Smash Brothers Ultimate to get a bonus character? What is this leak all about? Well, let's talk all about it. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Contents Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And boy, I get many messages about leaks and things to discuss on the show through, of course, our email address, blockedcontentmail at gmail.com, and also our Twitter at Squared Things and our Instagram at Block Content YouTube. But nothing has prepared me for something like this. A lot of you guys really wanted me to talk about this topic, and there was this huge leak that happened. Uh, just a couple of days ago that actually discussed another character coming to Smash Brothers Ultimate after this fighter's pass has concluded. Kind of like a similar deal to what Piranha Plant was way back in the day before we got any of the DLC. So this huge document that talks about a whole host of different reasons why this could be happening with like codes and numbers and things from the Smash website, from the Nintendo website as well. So yeah, I wanted to dive into this to kind of show you guys where this information is coming from what all this is about, you know, a second fighter's pass, you know, is there coming more? Well, I'm really curious to find out a little bit more because, of course, like you guys, I am extremely excited to find out if, well, there is some other hidden character after those final two. You can kind of say, well, we've had enough, right? We've had a big fighter's pass, then a second fighter's pass with even more characters that could essentially already count as bonus content. And, well, I do feel like that is true. I do also feel like, hey, a little bit more would be amazing and it would be quite poetic if we ended the same way as that we began, right? With Piranha Plant essentially opening up the floodgates and then another character closing it. And maybe that character could be free as well, right? Free of charge. That would be an incredible incentive for people that, you know, haven't picked up all the DLC to kind of go and try it. Well, of course, I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and more in a show question block where I answer your questions. You know, what do I think of your favorite Smash character? Let me know. Send your email to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and maybe your email will be discussed in our our show and also of course put them down in the comments so let's discuss this this document comes from reddit and it was posted by user Riobert, and it says seventh fighter pack coming on second fighters pass and it explains it i don't know if anyone has ever noticed this yet but i will explain this quickly every purchasable dlc character has its own code inside nintendo's official website this includes all the fighter packs me costumes and fighter passes the me costume codes don't make much sense but what i've found out is that from Piranha Plant, which is not included in the first pass, to Byleth, the codes are ordered perfectly and followed by the bonus Rex Me costume that you get by purchasing the first pass. For those who don't know, Piranha Plant is not included in the first pass and you can buy it separately for a lesser price because it comes with no new stage or any songs, but it was put into the first fighter pass category according to these numbers. As for pass 2, they were ordered the codes like something else with Min Min and Pyra and Mithra and those codes were reserved for the unreleased packs 10 and 11 respectively. However, the bonus Ancient Helm plus Gear costume that you get by purchasing the second pass has the other code, leaving it a blank space. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but keeping in mind that all other Mii costumes are ordered in a stranger way, I think that they're getting another fighter pack would not be a dumb idea. Technically, it can be anything, a completely different game, a completely different DLC for another game, a bundle, a Mii costume, or what I hope it is, a new fighter, like Piranha Plant, or New Fighter's Pack. This because it's a blank space in between and Piranha Plant was put into Pass 1 Fighters category as mentioned before, even though they can fill it with literally anything, but it's most likely that it's going to be Pass 2 related, just by looking at the numbers. If you ask me, I really hope that it's Waluigi. If you want to go out and check it, I'll leave the links to the bundles here, and of course we will also link them so you can check out all the codes that Nintendo gave to these things. They include the Smash Ultimate, Piranha Plant for Pass 1, Pass 2, and then the Ancient Hell Blood gear costume. Then he has an edit saying, not only the New Zealand's website has the missing values, at first I noticed that the prices were changing, but then I realized it's because I was getting redirected to different official Nintendo websites. When googling it, the character past 10, the only result was on the New Zealand website, and when googling it, the character past 11, the only result was on the Australian website. However, by changing the region values on the URL string, for example with ES, which is where I am from, you get redirected to the official Nintendo 
Nintendo Spain website. Doing this on the Ancient Helpless Gear costume, you still get a code, so it's obvious that it's not related to the Oceanian regions only. Added two, you might have noticed that the codes Nintendo gave to the items are different in the Japanese website, so there's no gap between Black 11 and the Ancient Helpless Gear costume anymore. However, while all their Flight of Past 2 characters in the Ancient Helpless Gear are ordered, the Piranha Plant and the Rex Me costume aren't ordered with the Fighters Pass 1 characters, with Piranha Plant and Rex costume having similar codes in the Japanese website. But not having the same codes as Fighter Pass 1 characters, so this lets me think that if this is a new character, it's going to to be separated character from Pass 2, so it would have no stage or music, please be Waluigi. At a 3, after more research, I came up with the conclusion is that Nintendo has different codes for all these different regions. For Pass 2, the codes look different too. It has the Japanese Min Min Zelda Gear costume, it has a US Min Min with unreleased Pack 11, so missing the Zelda Gear costume, and then the EU, AU, and NZ Min Min as the Zelda Gear with 7-3 being a blank space. What is interesting now is that there is no gap between the Japanese and US Pack 11 and the Zelda Gear, but there there is no Zelda Gear costume in the US, or could we find it yet? Maybe the code 73 is actually for the US Zelda Gear costume, since it is not listed in between US Pack 11 and the EU AU and Z Min Min. I don't have any idea. When trying to buy the 73 item on a US Nintendo account, it says that the content is not available, but I think that it might be because you cannot buy the costume directly, only by getting the past two. So, who knows? And then he, of course, shares a little bit more information about it in terms of screenshots and everything. Well, I think that this is a really good find. I think within Smash Brothers Ultimate, there is so much detail to be found within all those different codes and the information. And if you look at the Smash website, we've already gleaned a lot of information from there. But yeah, thinking about a character that could appear after this initial final or second fighter's pass has been completed, it kind of makes sense. I could really see the announcement in front of me with Sakurai talking in either a Nintendo Direct or maybe some Sakurai Presents presentation. Yeah, you guys thought that this was it? Well, we have a little bit more in store for you guys. We have a tiny surprise left, and that surprise is you guys are getting one more character. No, it's not getting all these spirit DLC, and no, it's not getting a huge stage or anything like that, but it is a character, and a full-fledged character at that, and we get to discuss all of it, and we get to talk about that character at length. So I'm really excited about all of that, and I'm really curious if you guys have any specific thoughts on who that character might be. Who would be a great character to end a Fighters Pass 2 on and have as a bonus additional character, right? It could be super fun for it to be Waluigi. It's a character that fans are really, you know, aiming for. I think that it's, you know, been a long time coming for Waluigi, so who knows? Today's comment question is, do you think there will be a seventh challenger pack for Pass 2? So will we get another character that, you know, kind of ends it all, right? And then Memphis Atkins says, I would like Jin or Kazuya to join Smash. It would make sense to get a character character from Tekken in Smash because Tekken is one of the popular fighting games of all time. Bandai Namco is the developer of Smash Ultimate and Tekken. It would be cool for a Tekken rep to join. I will be down to get a Tekken rep for Smash, but a Tekken rep to see in Smash, really unlikely because of Heihachi Mii costume that released back in the Mii Fighter costumes, round six. It would be really cool to see a Tekken rep in Smash, but the Heihachi Mii costume makes it really unlikely to see it but who knows, we just need to wait until E3. Heck, I even heard about a bonus fighter, but we just need to wait until E3. So, Memphis Atkins, thank you so much for saying that, and I totally agree, E3 is probably going to bring us a lot more Smash goodness. They always try and do stuff with the video game awards, but E3 has also kind of been a staple. I mean, we should not forget that we got Hero and Banjo in the same Nintendo Direct at E3 time, so something like that could be gearing up again, with the final two fighters, or maybe someone from Tekken is included in there. I think that that's a really safe bet to have another fighting game character, so who knows? And of course, you guys can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash blocked content. It's a really cool portal to show support for this channel, so if you really like the stuff that we do and you want to see more, and also you want to see those crazy fun animations like Snake Codex or Piranha Plants Potty Mouth, Wario's Prank Calls, and even Cranky Kong's Advice, well, you can head on over to the Patreon and support us. So subscribe, press that like button, and all the goodness from Block Content will come right your way. I'll see you guys in our next episode. This was Block Content, and as always, I will just see ya.